Good morning from Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center. As you look uh, at a view from the Progress 84 external engineering camera on the uncrewed cargo ship that launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan just under three hours ago. The uh, Progress 84 equipped uh, with some 2.7 tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition 69 crew on board the International Space Station is uh, rapidly closing in for its two-orbit fast-track automated uh, docking to the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. As we join, uh, rejoin our coverage uh, for rendezvous and docking, the progress is around eight kilometers away from the International Space Station. From the time uh, from launch, a couple of hours or so ago, the uh, TORU, or Telerobotically Operated Backup Rendezvous System on both the Progress and the receiving side in the Zvezda service module of the International Space Station, those systems were checked out, along with the CORE's automated rendezvous system on the Progress vehicle, and everything is in good shape. All of the rendezvous maneuvers to this point to raise the altitude of the Progress to match that of the International Space Station, as well as to fine tune its path toward the outpost. All of those burns have uh, gone off by the book with no issues reported by the Russian flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov. The journey of the uh, ISS Progress 84 cargo ship began at 7.56 and seven seconds a.m. Central Time. This is a replay of uh, the engine start. The engines came up to full throttle. The launch command was issued, and liftoff occurred right on time as the International Space Station was passing due west of the launch site in southwestern Kazakhstan at an altitude of about 260 statute miles. The Soyuz 2.1A booster arced out to the northeast on its trajectory to match that of the International Space Station in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. The uh, journey was flawless. All of engine parameters and all of the vehicle structure parameters were uh, by the book for the 8 minutes and 45 seconds until uh, the Soyuz third stage shut down and the progress separated from the third stage deploying its solar arrays and its navigational antennas to begin the short uh, three hour plus journey to the International Space Station. Now live, uh, you're looking uh, at a view from uh, cameras on the International Space Station as it and the Progress are traveling about 260 miles over the southern portion of South America, about to begin a southwest to northeasterly track, again in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. Again, this is the view from the external engineering camera on the Progress. The values that you see in the lower left-hand corner, the top value shows uh, seven and a half kilometers, that's the distance between progress and the station, and the bottom value, minus 9.5352, that's the closure rate of the progress to the station in meters per second. At the time of uh, docking, which is scheduled for about 11.20 a.m. Central Time, 12.20 p.m. Eastern Time, the progress's rate of closure will have uh, been reduced to just about one-tenth of a meter per second, uh, for uh, the proper uh, parameters at the time of docking itself. And in the middle of the crosshairs, a good view from the Progress camera of the International Space Station. This has been a busy time of uh, vehicles arriving at the International Space Station just 48 hours ago. The uh, Axiom 2 crew arrived at the station aboard the Crew Dragon Freedom following their launch from the Kennedy Space Center on Sunday evening. The, this progress, once again, is uh, going to be conducting a fly around of the station and then a short period of station keeping as it uh, has its forward docking probe aligned perfectly with the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the station. 
That uh, will ensure Russian flight controllers that the start of final approach will guide uh, the uh, vehicle in for its uh, docking to Poisk. The uh, relative motion of the two vehicles against one another at the time of contact and capture will dampen out after a few minutes. Then uh, the docking probe will initiate a retraction to bring the two docking surfaces into uh, flush against one another uh, for the initiation of the closing of the hooks that will form a hard mate for the progress to the Poisk module. Once leak checks are conducted over the course of the next uh, hour and a half or so by Russian cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev, who's the Expedition 69 commander, and Dmitry Patelin, uh, once those leak checks are conducted, then the hatch uh, both on the station side and on the progress side will be open and uh, the crew will begin to unload some of the more time critical items of the cargo being carried to the complex. The uh, 2.7 tons of supplies being carried up to the station breaks down to uh, 1,080 pounds of propellant, 88 pounds of nitrogen, 926 pounds of water, and 3,399 pounds of dry cargo that uh, includes spare parts and other items for replenishment of supplies on board the station, a total of 5,493 pounds of cargo, or 2.7 tons. Uh, we have acquisition of uh, signal 8.9. Velocity copy. The uh, progress now less than five and a half kilometers away from the International Space Station, which is in the center of this crosshaired engineering camera view on the exterior of the uncrewed progress cargo craft. This vehicle uh, will remain attached uh, to the International Space Station until later this fall when uh, loaded with trash, it will be uh, undocked from the station and uh, deorbited to burn up harmlessly over the Pacific Ocean. Over the course of the next uh, 30 minutes or so, there'll be a series of so-called impulse burns. Those are small uh, thruster firings that will uh, more precisely fine-tune uh, the progress's path to the station for the initiation of the uh, fly-around, which is planned at about uh, 10.54, about 16 minutes from now. That fly-around again uh, will result in an alignment of the forward docking probe on the progress with the Poisk module on the space-facing or zenith side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station that will be the destination for progress to dock to.
Eight point uh, four uh, range is four. Lock up here. The arrival of the uh, Progress 84 cargo ship uh, this morning following its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome uh, will set the stage uh, for the next major operational activity, that being uh, the departure of the Axiom 2 private astronaut crew from the station next Tuesday, weather permitting, heading for a splashdown off the coast of Florida. Their departure in the Crew Dragon Freedom from the zenith port of the Harmony module of the International Space Station will free that port up for the subsequent launch and docking of SpaceX's Cargo Dragon vehicle that is uh, currently targeted for launch on June 3rd with an arrival on June 5th, carrying to the station supplies and the next pair of IROSA or ISS rollout solar arrays that will be installed next month during a pair of spacewalks by Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg to augment the power capability on the 1A and 1B power channels on the starboard truss of the International Space Station. Three kilometers, negative 8.2, uh, waiting for the burn. You are hearing uh, the interpretation of conversations uh, between Station Commander Sergei Prokopiev, who again, along with Dmitry Patelin, inside the Zvezda service module, they would be ready to take over manual flying of the progress for the docking through a uh, joystick on a control panel called the TORU, or Telerobotically Operated Rendezvous System, in the unlikely event a failure would occur to the core's automated rendezvous system. So far, CORS is honing in on the station, however, with the, the distance between progress and the station now down to about two and a half kilometers. So maneuver starts at 18.03. The station is moving to the right, down. The show waiting is cut activation. Copy. It's cut activation. Observing. Copy. Next step up uh, coming in the next couple of minutes will be the uh, activation of the uh, command link uh, between the International Space Station and uh, the TORU system. Again, this is the backup rendezvous system on the progress, which would be used in the event uh, a problem would occur with the CORS automated rendezvous system. However, CORS is operating normally at this point and is expected to continue operating normally all the way through rendezvous, the terminal phase of today's rendezvous and docking. Less than two kilometers now separating progress from the International Space Station. Station Rakou. Station in the center. And the station now in the field of view, right in the center of the crosshairs, as progress uh, continues its 
approach to the station with a closure rate now of just over four meters per second. We we'll give you a go for Toru activation. Okay, in work. Toru activated. We are on page 21. Copy. Make sure. All keys operate and released. We have checking our power. PUBPS initial activation. Copy. We have LEDs coming on. Here in the uh, flight control room at Mission Control in Houston, Flight Director Vincent Lacourte is polling uh, his team of flight controllers here to give a go for docking. That will be relayed uh, shortly to the Russian shift flight director at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. Uh, for uh, sequential internal and external LEDs indicators coming on. In work, we have four of them. We're about seven minutes away from the start of the fly around by progress. Again, that will align the approaching cargo vehicle with the POISC module on the space-facing side of the station. And to neutral, and to the right, four are sequentially lit up and neutral right. Now, now clockwise, we have four in neutral back and uh, counterclockwise, sequentially four back to neutral. Uh, so no issues with test row now, moving to test route on all channels, sequentially in all access. Go ahead. We have external and internal back to neutral, going up. Uh, external, internal, back to neutral. To the left, we have external, internal, neutral. To the right, external, internal, back to neutral. Now reverse, external, internal, uh, neutral. Acceleration, external, internal, root test completed, no issues. Copy. So that report uh, to uh, Sergei Prokopiev on board the International Space Station indicates that uh, the test of the backup rendezvous system has been successful in case it happens to be needed. So far, so good. A flawless approach by progress since it was since its launch almost three hours ago. So no issues. We're uh, coming up on the next in the series of so-called impulse burns, thruster firings that uh, fine-tune the Progress's path to the station. We are now under one kilometer distance between Progress and the station, closing at a rate of about 2.7 meters per second. We have external, internal, back to neutral. Now work on... ACS mode. Also completed, we have one marker. Okay, you're breaking up. And now I'm repeating this one. We have two markers, ACS mode. Now I'm going third time. We have LEDs on, uh, three markers and image, nominal. Just make the image comfortable for you. Okay, I turned off ICT mode and Marcus disappeared. I'm keeping one marker active. And the images are checked. And the latest impulse burn reported to be good by our visiting vehicle officer, Adam Faust, here in Mission Control. A great view of the International Space Station from the Progress's external engineering camera. 760 meters now separating 
progress from its destination, closing at a rate of two and a half meters per second. And moving to page 22. Moving to page 22, waiting for fly around. So 22 when the fly around starts, then you start on page 22. About three minutes away from beginning the fly around of the station by the progress, this is all automated. The uh, CORE's automated rendezvous system, which is basically uh, a system that uh, bounces navigational information back and forth to a receiving system that is comparable to the transmission system on the progress. The progress is the active system. The station side of the CORE system is the passive system. That navigational uh, information continues uh, to update in the progress's computers so it understands the uh, position and its orientation and its direction of travel and closure rate to wind up docking to the uh, right docking port on the station. Less than 500 meters separating progress from the International Space Station. Four hundred meters range waiting for fly around. We have started. And uh, flight controllers confirming that the fly around of the station is now underway. And uh, again, uh, this maneuver, which is common for approaching vehicles uh, to the Russian segment of the station, will uh, precisely align the forward docking probe on the Progress supply ship to the Poisk module in this case, which is the docking port for this resupply craft. Negative 1.1. The uh, fly around should take uh, just under 10 minutes to complete. That will be followed by a very brief period of station keeping to allow Russian flight controllers to assess the orientation of progress toward its docking port. Three hundred meters separating progress from the International Space Station, now closing at a rate uh, just under one meter per second. 
range is uh, matching uh, 300, and we continue fly around. And our first view of the progress itself from cameras on the International Space Station. The uh, station and uh, the progress flying 260 miles about to fly almost directly over Casablanca prominent in the field of view the uh, white uh, cylindrical object is uh, the new airlock, new in the sense of its installation, having launched uh, on the STS-132 mission of the space, shuttle, the space Shuttle Atlantis years ago. That airlock was installed uh, during a recent uh, Russian spacewalk by Prokopiev and Patelin. 230 meters now separating progress from the station, continuing its fly around, station keeping uh, just a few minutes away. About 200 meters range, negative zero to velocity. Copy, continue. Continue monitoring automatic. The uh, spacecraft on the left side of uh, the screen in this view from the Progress's cameras is the ISS Progress 83 cargo craft, which uh, has been used uh, for reboost capability of the station and other maneuvers docked to the aft end of the Zvezda service module. Prokopiev and Patelin inside uh, the service module at the ready if necessary to take over manual control of the flying of the progress in the unlikely event uh, an issue would occur with the CORS automated rendezvous system, but CORS is solid at the moment, providing the navigational information for the progress's computers as it uh, continues its uh, slow approach, methodical approach for docking to Poisk. Docking is still scheduled for approximately 11.20 a.m. Central Time. Around 90 degrees of fly around uh, remaining. We are back in insulation. We are turning off the overlay, turning off AGC mode. Okay, copy. Activating operation, deactivating AGC mode. Uh, 
Mercury robot. Deactivating operation. Copy. Are you able to see the station well? It's a little dark, actually. But with AGC mode on, we couldn't see anything at all. I think it was better with one marker. Okay, let's try it one more time. Back to initial and to operation. And one for the HSC mode. I think this is better. Okay, we'll leave it. Inside 200 meters, progress uh, about to wrap up its fly around and begin a short period of station keeping. Range rate is zero. We are monitoring the docking port on our M2. Copy. And range is about 150 meters. Crossing the border uh, of Croatia and Hungary, progress uh, you can see very clearly its thruster firings as it uh, begins to put the brakes on for a short period of station keeping. Station Moscow on space to ground one. Range is 170. We see the roll maneuver has initiated. We are approaching the axis for the docking port. And our settings 1909 21. For the beginning of final approach, be ready to put in the manual command if needed. Okay, copy. The roll maneuver uh, reported uh, through the interpreter to Sergei Prokopiev on board the station uh, refers to uh, the positioning of the solar arrays on the progress vehicle. So it's at the correct orientation for final approach, contact, and capture. It has been just three hours and eight minutes since launch of the progress from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The docking port ranges up about 170 meters. The roll maneuver is ongoing. And station keeping initiated at a range of about 170 meters. Sergey. I will go LOS at 1512. There will be an LOS on space to ground one. So a little bit before that, you can go and switch over to UKV line two. Okay, we'll switch to UKV. Standing by for completion of fly around, ranges 
170. The docking port is a little bit higher than the crosshairs. Completion of fly around confirmed. Again, uh, this period of station keeping uh, is usually very, very brief, a few seconds or so, to enable the Russian flight controllers to assess uh, the orientation of the forward docking probe on the progress to the uh, port of call, which is the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the station. The uh, space station and the Progress flying over southwestern Russia at an altitude of 260 statute miles. Go station on space to ground one. Go ahead. Fly round is complete. And we are standing by for initiation of final approach. Okay, copy, standing by. Station Moscow, let's put in format 44. I have put in the command. Работа operation is in. I'm putting in format 44. Time is 19.07.47. And the command has been uh, given for final approach by the progress to the International Space Station. Okay, now we're working per page 23. Confirmed, page 23, and range rate is increasing. We're about uh, 12 minutes away from docking. It's not a precise time. Uh, the targeted time is 11.20 a.m. Central, 12.20 p.m. Eastern time. Range rate is 0.8. I'm putting in AGC mode. Progress uh, flying very, very nicely on its automated guidance system. Range is 140. Negative 0 decimal 83 is the range rate. Copy three minutes till eclipse. That call, uh, we're about three minutes away from going into an orbital sunset. That is not a constraint to docking. Just over 100 meters separating progress from the Poisk module. You see uh, the docking port on Poisk just range above the crosshairs. 110. The range rate is negative 0 decimal 7. Target is visible. Copy. Sergey, can you verify operation and turn it off for now? Okay, we don't need AGC mode anymore. We are turning off operation. Copy. The station and progress now flying 260 miles over northwestern Visual Kazakhstan. Range is approximately 80 meters. Target is 
visible. Range is seventy negative zero three four. Sixty-eight uh, meters separating progress from the docking port. Everything uh, continues to go very, very smoothly, and has been uh, since the progress launched atop the Soyuz 2.1A booster three hours and fifteen minutes ago. Going to cover. Uh, it's all the same for you. Just press com line two. Moscow station on Ukava. We hear you loud and clear. Yes, I also. The target is in the center, and the tra target crosshairs are aligned. Okay, copy, stand by for the message for readiness to inaudible. We uh, have passed out of range of our tracking and data relay satellite system for just a couple of minutes here. This view uh, over Russian ground stations of the approach of the progress to the Poisk module, no 50 meters now separating progress from Poisk. The video is gone, okay, copy. Range is approximately 46 meters, copy. Inside 50 meters, closing at a rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second. That will be the velocity of the progress at the time of contact and capture. I see the message is ready, copy. Inaudible. The uh, Poisk docking port is now powered on, ready to receive the progress. Once docking occurs, the relative motion of the two vehicles against one another will dampen out. The docking probe will be retracted to bring the docking surfaces flush against one another, initiating the closing of the hooks to form a hard mate between progress and the International Space Station. Two minutes till eclipse. A little bit to the left. Okay, copy standing by. Range is 30, range rate is negative zero, zero, 009. Copy, you're going to proceed. Inside 30 meters Point now. I'm putting in the Uvod Razrishon command. Breakout in name. The uh, center of this engineering crosshair view should align itself 
with the diamond-shaped object just underneath the docking port. That basically is a docking target that is used for navigational precision on the final several meters of approach. Copy, and let's proceed to page 24. That was 15 meters. Target is a little lower than center. Copy. Ready, calm. Let's continue automatic docking and final approach. The uh, docking target uh, clearly in view, almost at the center of the crosshairs, inside 20 meters. Closing at a rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second. Target crosshairs are aligned. Alignment of target center and center of video monitor. About six meters, about five meters, half a square lower than the crosshairs. The target is half a square lower. Ready, calm. Copy. Progress almost home. Standing by for contact and capture. Range is three. After contact, ready, calm. Okay, standing by for contact. About half a meter. Contact. Contact. And capture confirmed. Docking confirmed. At 11.19 a.m. Central Time, 12.19 a.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station flew 260 miles over China. successful docking of the Progress vehicle. Thank you. We also congratulate you standing by for a go to deactivate Toru. Page 27. But only after retraction. Yes, confirmed. Moscow. Once again, docking confirmed at... Uh, 11.19 a.m. Central Time, 12.19 p.m. Eastern Time, Go ahead on as Progress on and the International Space Station Back flew 260 China. miles over China, Copy. docking occurring uh, just three hours and 23 minutes after its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Uh, same here. Standing by for go to deactivate Tor after retraction. Okay, copy. Standing by for retraction.
So at the moment, uh, with docking having been uh, successfully completed, a flawless transit uh, from the launch pad at Baikonur to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. We are awaiting uh, the relative motion between the two vehicles to dampen out before the docking probe begins its retraction. And the probe now is retracting. This uh, will pull the two docking surfaces flush against one another, initiating uh, the closing of the hooks to form a hard mate between Progress and the International Space Station. Progress uh, delivering to the station 1,080 pounds of propellant, 88 pounds of nitrogen, 926 pounds of water, and 3,399 pounds of dry cargo for a total of 2.7 tons of cargo being delivered to the complex and uh, the Expedition 69 crew, which currently is augmented by the four private astronauts representing Axiom Space. The uh, hooks are driving closed now, following the retraction of the docking probe. And uh, we now have confirmation of the closing of the hooks, so we have a hard mate between the Progress 84 cargo ship and the International Space Station, culminating a flawless three-hour-plus journey from the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The um, launch occurred at 7.56 and 7 seconds a.m. Central Time, 5.56 p.m. at the launch site in Baikonur, the uh, Soyuz 2.1A booster that delivered progress to its preliminary orbit uh, performed without any issues. Eight minutes and 45 seconds after launch, the progress separated from the third stage of the Soyuz booster, deployed its solar arrays and navigational antennas, and began uh, the chase to catch the International Space Station. A series of thruster firings ensued over the course of the next two orbits, or three hours, Culminating uh, with the docking that you just heard just a couple of minutes ago, progress uh, edging in and nestling into the uh, Poisk module docking port on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. So that will wrap up our coverage for today. Progress, a perfect journey from launch to docking, delivering 2.7 tons of supplies to the International Space Station. With that, uh, we'll conclude our coverage. We hope you have a great day, and thanks for tuning in. This is Mission Control Houston.